Awesome call. I'm back and I'm ready. I don't know about you. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to see someone kick the shit out of Red Gary Dose. Are we going to catch it? That's the question. Yeah, you can try and catch it. Joe, you know watch, throw a YOLO ball at it straight away. <laughs> this is like the first shiny I guess a lot of people encounter. Because I did not know as a kid that shiny Pokemon were even a thing. Um, I actually encountered a shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Crystal, the first Gen 2 game I played. Okay. Um, I encountered a shiny fucking Zubat. Because of That's... course I did. That's not a bad... Could it evolve into Crobat at that point in the game? Uh, yes, but I so didn't get know a shiny Crobat. how to get a Crobat, so it took me forever oh, to no. get him into one. I did get yeah, there in the you... end, but... Crobat's not a bad Pokemon. I don't mind Crobat. That's so quick bar, yeah. Yolo the quick Yolo ball. ball. You could have thrown this from the shore. <laughs> That's the best bit about it. Nah, fair enough. And I do feel sorry for all those kids who accidentally knocked it out. And then, do you remember all the rumours on the playground about how you could get another one? No. Where it comes back on certain days and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, there were so many rumours just specifically about Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the worst one has to be like the... I'm new sorry, Garibos. You must die now. Oh, no. So he doesn't want me to oh, die. He doesn't want to die. That's the thing. Like, I don't really give a shit about this thing. I know it's a good oh, Pokemon. Oh, it took out Maxi. God, our strongest Pokemon, Lucas, what? Dragon Rage, just 40 damage, face up. Um, we could throw our Espeon. Charles could try choice specs it out. Let's hope. Like, this is a fucking gym like, leader battle right here. It is. It's a very, very good Pokemon. You can also run away from it, I think. Uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> if, you, if you run away, it just disappears, which I think is hilarious. That was a crit, Jesus. So tell you what, like, YOLO ball again. Why not, yeah? Let's catch it for the insult. No, for the insult of never using it. Yeah, go put it in a box. Uh, and Pokeball, like, get the netball out. Well, there may be some people that, oh, it's a really good Pokemon, why are you not using it? That's why we're not yeah, using we it. Yeah, we are not very, using very, it because everyone does. Yeah, it's very strong. It's a very powerful Pokemon. We are aware of how good it is. It is rare. It is cool looking. We don't give a shit. It's Pokemon. It's not a hard game. No, I, I say dying. The difficulty is artificial, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Where it's difficult because you, what chance do you really have to be leveled up enough to fight it? Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a couple of the games we're playing right now where the difficulty is not very like uh, well implemented. Like in the God of War playthrough, mm -hmm. as we've like you know ex um, showcased like multiple times, the difficulty in this game comes from the fact it's just the enemy takes less damage. Uh, yeah, because if anyone's not watching that playthrough, like. We've swapped between like normal and hard difficulty essentially, mm -hmm. and the only thing that happens is the health bars become like triple Bigger. the size and they do triple the damage. Which isn't difficult. No. Oh, it's not a difficulty slider, in my opinion. It's just you're making the game more of a slog. There's no way for me to skillfully um, circumvent this difficulty increase, which I think is the best way to handle difficulty. It's, yeah. Uh, in Pokemon, like, it's the same. It's difficult because the opposing Pokemon just do more damage. They just shoot the levels up when they want a difficult encounter to happen. Yeah, it's not, there's no way to skillfully avoid that. No. Um, uh, you can't skillfully outplay just the other let's person. Let's just call it red and then never it. leave it. Never give it anything. Yeah. It's called Gary. So I always call my Gary Dose. <laughs> I had so many Gary Dose called Gary back in the day. I always call my Gary Dose Gary because it's really funny. What does the red scale even do in this? I think you give it to Lance, maybe? Like you sell it or you give it to someone. It's like a key item, isn't it, that um, people want? Maybe it is just that. It glows red like a flame. Cool. So maybe if it runs, you still find the scale. I think you do, yes. It's like it's a key item for the game. I believe you give it to it. It might be Lance. Is Lance in this game or is he the. No, uh, Lance is in this game, yeah. He's a gym leader in he's this game. He's the one. champion before the champion, I believe. I don't think he's a. Um... I think he... Oh! Carl! He's right there. Speak of the devil. With his five foot tall uh, dragon knight. <laughs> like I'm trying to like... remember what Lance did and then it's like, oh man. Is that his broken dragon knight? The one that is um, a level... It's below when it should evolve and it knows barrier. Remember that? Where Lance's dragon knight was cheating. Oh really? Yeah, Lance's dragon knight um, is <laughs> under level. You can't get a dragon knight at that level and it knows barrier. 
So it would have been le move. like level 50 instead of 55 or something. Uh, I think so, yeah. And then barrier is not a move. Um, Dragonite can learn. Wait, only really? Lancer's Dragonite knows it, yes. Oh. And they even released a special event Pokemon, which is Lancer's Dragonite, that knows barrier. <laughs> because that's the move that the, the line doesn't ever get, yeah. except for him. Oh. It's like, yeah. I which I want to see more of that. I want to see like more of the examples of just Pokemon knowing moves they shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, like the surfing, like surfing Pikachu. Pikachu. Yeah, because it's super cool. Yeah. Um, like, I'm so good that I taught my Pokemon to do a move it shouldn't be able to do. Carl, so where, where are the Mega Cheats for me, Carl? Mega Cheat just says after you've beaten the Gyarados. Oh, no, I meant uh, Route 43 is ready for an interesting. Uh, let's have a look then. So Route 43, big cheats, big cheats. Uh, this is the one that leads to Lake of Rage, yes. Uh, Sludge Bomb. Ooh. Given by the guard after defeating Team Rocket, so I believe Lance has directed us towards Team Rocket's hideout. He did, yeah. In the in the oh, house oh. where nothing's going on. The king is. Holy in. shit! This kid with the fucking level twenty near the king. Like, maybe this he's is where all the moonstones went. He's got them all. Yeah, he found it. He won. <laughs> like, I like the idea though that the uh, national park has just got a horde of these stones that no one else can get. Yeah, they got them all. They bought every single one. That's why you can't buy them in the shops. It's like Amiibos. <laughs> yeah. They just bought them all. Oh, God. Do you remember that, that story as well about that really, really sad oh, the Rosalina. Guy who bought every Rosalina <laughs> yeah. Amiibo to get his hands on just so other people couldn't have it because he doesn't like Rosalina. He, he bought over a thousand, which means he spent over $10,000 on Rosalina Amiibos so just that so no one else could get it. them. It's like, that is some micro-penis energy. That, that's right beyond micro-penis energy, Carl. That's like microscope penis energy. Uh, there, is, there is no coming back from that. There isn't. And like, what do you do when, you know, presumably he tries to bring like, a girl or guy around to his house, like, oh, yeah, you know, let's go on a date. Uh, I can't afford anything because I've just spent all my money on Amiibo. Come round to mine. And then they just see ten fucking piles of just giant Amazon Prime boxes filled. Yeah, because that's the just thing. Filled. People wonder. He didn't tell them. No, he didn't. People were offering him like, people were offering him like, oh, do you double for it? Are you a scalper? It's like, no, I'm not a scalper. I just hate this character so much. I don't want people to have the amiibo. Uh, it, it was something along the lines of he feels like the character got a complete undeserved push and just doesn't deserve the fame and love that she she got. Like Sonic's in the game. <laughs> I think it was like specifically due to Mario games as well. Like he didn't like the fact that uh, Rosalina immediately became like basically a main character in Mario games. But she's got she's got a really good design and she's in a really good Mario game. And got a cool backstory and it's like yeah, she's unique to the Mario universe and it's like considering normally it's just been a game where it's been fucking Mario, Luigi, Toad and Peach for twenty years. It's like, yeah, I, I appreciate the mix-up, Nintendo. Thank you. And then he's like, nah, nah. Fuck you. Micro penis energy on display. And for this route, there are uh, just a couple of Flaffies. You can get Marie from Flaffy on this route. Knock Towel, very rarely at night. Ah, oh, perfect for us then, Carl. Perfect for us in the middle of the day, yeah. And then we've got <laughs> Giraffe Rig, which I bumped into and discussed. As interesting a Pokemon as it is. It's just got it's nothing just not. to it. Now, and again, um, even if we were thinking about Giraffe Rig, as you mentioned... We've got a fucking Espeon, Carl. Yeah, we've got a Psychic type. Um, is this Sludge Bomb here? No, it's not. Uh, no, you get it from the guy after you beat Team Rocket. Oh, yeah, you, of course, you just said that. And uh, if you headbutt the trees, you can just get uh, like a Venonat or some Executes. In Gen 2, you can get a Heracross. Is that Her Heracross? Do you know what that is? Um, I've not heard of that one. I've not heard of it. No, it's weird. Sounds like something we, you'd get, you like, maybe back in Azalea Town or something. Yeah, let's not look at that Pokemon. It doesn't sound very good. Nah, it's probably not. But no, there's nothing interesting in that route. Just like I said, a few items. I know a person who appreciate Red Scale. Who? Oh, I, I can't think remember. Gives you, because he's the guy who gives you experience share, isn't he? Really? I think so. Because it said we get it at Lake of Rage. Here we go. Oh! Like, the thing is, well... Oh! oh was he hyper-beaming a man? <laughs> No! Oh. How would you survive? Oh, so, Carl, he's not survived. He's pinned against the wall dead. Like, what do you do? I don't know. Well, I guess I'm going to kick shit out of Team Rocket. Yeah, I'd then. fucking move out of the way. 
If you've just seen that he doesn't care about using his Dragonite on a dude. Like, you get out of his <laughs> yeah. way. Let's see if he's dead, Carl. Yeah, yeah, no shit. What's he say? He's like, Ugh. he's like, Ugh. the dragon type Pokemon are tough. It's like, yeah, yeah, man. Well, they are broken. They were broken up until like they had to introduce a new type of Pokemon just to to balance the game. Yeah, they were that good. That's why fairy types, fun fact, do exist because um, just dragon types were like just the meta uh, for so long, and they had so little counter other than just ice moves. And then you have that really annoying thing of every new legendary that came out was always a dragon. Yeah. So all the legendaries so, are also course, dragon, like, like dragons are literally like legendary mythical creatures. Like, of course, the legendary Pokemon are always going to be fucking dragons. But it just meant that they were all super fucking powerful. Yeah. It's like, if anyone does want to, like, just look back at the list, especially like Gen 3, 4, and maybe 5. Of just mm -hmm. how many legendaries were just dragon Pokemon. There all are. Like almost every and as well, we've talked before, we fucking hate legendaries. Mm -hmm. I very much do. I goddamn hate legendaries. And Carl, can't you wait for half of the Pokemon they're bringing back in the Crown Tundra to I, just be legendaries? When you told me that, I was so mad. Yeah. When I went and checked, it's like, oh yeah, almost every Pokemon's coming back is a legendary Pokemon. It's like, this is so it's fucking like, boring. Oh, we're bringing back over 100 Pokemon, 60 of them are legendaries and Ultra Beasts. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. You bring, back all, bring back all those Pokemon that are not interesting at all. Or, going to be ones that you can catch in Crown Tundra. Yeah. Because they're all legendary, so you can only get them through Pokemon Home. Mm -hmm. Great, fantastic, love it. So this Choice Specs Charles is just not going to give a flying fuck about Pokemon right now. No, everything's just going <laughs> to fall for Choice Specs. Like, that's the thing, is Charles has already taken out most Pokemon one hit. And now just add a 50% boost, because the only move we were using is Shadow Ball anyway. I will say, um, after you've killed this, you might want to go to Route 30. Oh, okay. Because Mr. Pokemon is on Route 30, and he will give us the experience share. So maybe if Charles is just going to stomp his way through this Team Rocket hideout, we might want to go get that experience share and give it to one of our weaker Pokemon. Oh god, no, Carl. I'm not getting a choice. Well, they didn't give me a other. chance, no. This is like a big um, uh, area, though. This is like a full dungeon. I think so, yeah. So it's not like we're just going to fight these couple of guys. And not to mention there's Pokemon in the um, area as well. Um, where about is Route 30 from where we are then? Oh, we can fly, can't we? Oh. We have the ability to fly, Lucas, don't you remember? No, but like, I didn't know whether... Oh, shit, yeah, we're locked in. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention, I was just mashing the button because I was like... Were you try, were you try to run away? Yeah. No, I was... Run, um, run away from me, well, Shadow Ball doesn't affect Rattata, does it? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so you got switching. Oh, I used Pursuit on me, it knew. Oh, he knows. That does good damage as well. It's super that Joe, that's annoying. Now that move's not in the game anymore. Wait, what? Yeah, pursuit's not in the game. What? It's one of the it's one of the moves that didn't make it into Sword and Shield. What do you mean? Pursuit's not in the game. But Pokemon can learn it still, right? No. Uh, yeah, because I was trying to build a team around pursuit. It, it's just not there. No, it's one of the moves that didn't make it into the transition to Sword and Shield. Jokes they have like forbidden moves that you can't have on Pokemon. Pursuit's one of them. Oh, fucking hell. Because I was going to teach it to my, um, uh, I've got Scizor. But, oh, Technician Pursuit, I remember that being really good. And it can't learn Pursuit anymore. What? So I've got your like Technician um, uh, fucking Thief. So I'm about to build um, a set around using Thief. That's so steal stupid. Your item. Like Thief and Fling, which I think is a really good combo of moves. Steal her item and throw it out. <laughs> You could do it right now. Do you know what? While we like, you know, going to get the experience share, it's just um, fine. The only stuff that's in here is there's a bunch of trainers and there is TM uh, 46 and 49, which is Snatch and Thief, respectively. Oh, okay. Everything cool. else is just like nuggets and things like that. So you want to keep an eye out for them because Thief and Snatch are two interesting moves, though they're not all too that all too useful. They're probably not ones we're going to use. Um, so did you say Route 30? Because I thought Route. we were waiting until we got to Mahogany Town to get the experience share. We are in Mahogany Town, aren't we? So is it around here? It may be, but he says it's Mr. Pokemon is on that route. So I double check your map and go there because we want to get that experience share as soon as possible. Yeah, we do, yeah. It's like the biggest gripe people seem to bring up about um, the games, even though I 
argue as soon as you don't have it, it's like, why the fuck don't we have it? Because it just means that one Pokemon gets oh. overleveled to fuck. Really? All the way down there. We, could have we really gone and got it that early? No, you only get it after you got the red scale. Oh, after you get the red scale? Yeah. That's why we, we talked about in Mahogany Town, you get at the Lake of Rage, we just never bothered to follow up why you get it at the Lake of Rage. You know, so you get the red scale, which Mr. Pokemon is interested in, he'll give the experience. Why? So I was like, Carl, if I could have got that that early, why didn't we? Uh, so we'll just move, get the Pidgeotto back. Yeah. So what I've been doing is, just like, quickly in the background, I've just brought up a list of these are all the moves that have been cut from the game. You're going to depress so, me now. Uh, well, there's, there's like 144 moves that are not in the game. Fucking but there's a couple hell. That are, but there's a few that I think are quite interesting. So we have Karate Chop and Double Slap. Not in the game. Wow. And Karate Chop is like the fighting type equivalent of Slash. Because it's the one that has the higher critical hit chance. Oh, shit. And that's a good feeding that thing of like moves that should exist. And it's like there should be the higher critical hit chance for every stat, um, type. Yeah, there should, yeah. Of move. Um, rolling Kick. Jump Kick. So two of the best kick moves. Hmm. Because as we talked about before, there needs to be the Iron Fist kick equivalent yeah. of the equivalent of Iron Fist. Because there were so many kick moves in the game, we've taken some of those out. Um, Dragon Rage and Sonic Boom. So the two set damage moves of 20 damage and 40 damage respectively. Yeah. But they still put um, Nightshade and Seismic Toss into the game. Mm. Uh, Rage. Which is a super fun move. So that's it's um, every time you're hit, it goes up. Oh yeah, of and course. I was yeah. Up through some doubles battles, shenanigans with that. And really good, just with bulky Pokemon as well. Mhm. Mm um, Egg bomb, bone club, spike cannon, constrict, barrage, bubble, dizzy punch, flash, sharpen, faint attack, return. So returns not in the game anymore. Oh, wow. Return and frustration both out. Magnitude, pursuit, hidden power, smelling salts. I was annoyed about that because I wanted to make a Wait, smelling salts tactic. Wait, hidden power not in the game anymore. Hidden Power's not in the game anymore now. And I was really looking forward to like, doing a Smelling Salts one uh, with like my Fast Lanoon dudes in Thunder Wave, but nope, no more. Secret Power, Mud Sport, Ice Ball, Needle Arm. Well, it's the Pokemon that had it is gone. Yeah. Um, Signal Beam, Grass Whistle, Silver Wind. Signal so Beam is gone. Equivalent. Signal Beam is gone. Miracle Eye, Wake Up Slap. Another move I was looking forward to do using your doubles. Double damage when the opponent's asleep, but it wakes them up that turn. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I would be bothered with like dumb double stuff with that. Um, trump card, natural gift, embargo, ring out, lucky chant, me first. Um, mud bomb, mirror shot, rock climb, magnet bomb, um, heal order. Even though the Pokemon that has that move is in the game, but it's the signature move of Vespi Queen. But Vespi Queen's not in the game anymore. Uh -oh. um, Sky drop, um, steamroller. Uh, and then all of the um, uh, Z moves, understandable. Yeah, yeah, of course. But like uh, every so, single Z move, I'm so baffled by some of those moves being taken out of the game. Like some of them are really interesting from like a concept standpoint. Mm -hmm. It's like some of the ones you can argue like Dragon Rage is basically useless past a certain point in the game. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. But something like Wake Up Slap or Smelling Salts, which do double damage based on whether the opponent has a status condition, but it heals that status condition. That's super situational, but also very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I would love to have made a class around that, as I did in um, Sword and Shield. Oh, sorry, uh, Sun and Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I had a double battles team that revolved entirely around paralyzing the opposing team, Le like powering up your Pokemon, and then um, getting rid of the paralysis with wake-ups, um, smelling salts. Yeah. 